What's up, uh, everybody? How's everybody doing out there? I'm Vernon Kid here, coming to you again. Uh, I'm here to uh, review the last two episodes that aired this week for Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes. Uh, yeah, we got a full week of Earth's Mightiest Heroes down in the land down under. And uh, episode 20... 23, actually... <laughs> Uh, entitled The Ultron Impervative. Uh, this is the aftermath of the last episode, Ultron 5, that I reviewed. Okay, so the episode starts off basically the team is devastated by the loss of what, you know, Thor basically. They think Thor's dead. They think Thor's dead. Uh, and they're looking at the hammer. They're looking at Yonmir. Uh, and you see the the lighting of, you know, the, the, what's on the description of, you know, his hammer. Whoever holds his feel, you know, the, the, the usual saying. And they're saying, should we, Wasp says, should we pick it up? And she, she asks Hulk, Hulk, can you pick it up? And he's like, I can't. Uh, and she says, why not? Because I'm not Thor, basically. Can't even move it. Hulk even admitted, I can't even move it. Even with all the strength of Hulk, he can't even move it. Uh, we also see, basically, Hank still deleting the files of of Ultron. You know, he's devastated about, you know, everything. Him and Iron Man are deleting the files, and he's like, this is my fault, this is my fault. Uh... Iron Man saying, I'm just to blame as well, Hank, you know, I, I pushed Ultron to put weapons and stuff on him, you know, little do they know, Ultron is basically downloading himself into all these different modems, you know, uh, and, uh, you know, wow, whether it's a satellite, you name it, and then finally he, he gets into S.H.I.E.L.D.'s uh, computers, and from there, uh, Ultron is reborn, uh, and pretty much he takes over the whole world's technology. And literally, all of a sudden, boom! What happens? The group is attacked by not one, not two, not three, but almost the entire Iron Man stock of armors, uh, the, his Hulkbuster armor, I gotta admit, this version of the Hulkbuster armor looked great, we saw Silver Sentry armor, we saw some of his classic prototype armors, as well as one of my favorites, his stealth armor, and this pretty much had a feel of what happened in uh, Mighty Avengers when Ultron came back, but he was in a female body, and he took over all of Tony's uh, armors then. That's what it had a feel of, uh, and I gotta admit, this was a great, this was great. It was great to see Ultron still being Ultron, just being that devastating, devastating uh, robot that we all love and why he's pretty much the most recognizable Avengers villain. Um, the, the team was just battling, just constantly, constantly battling... Uh, their armors, and then we we go to what what happened to Thor. Little Thor is with the the enchantress, and there she's she's actually putting him under a spell. Like she's she's all being you know my love and everything to him, you know because everybody should know enchantress likes Thor. She loves Thor like that. She wants Thor to be her own, and if she can't, if he she won't if he won't come willingly then he's gonna she's gonna basically enchant him and you know things like that she saved his life and uh the team is still battling you know uh battling all the tony's armor tony gets back into his original prototype armor and <laughs> he goes into battle with the others uh, Hulk is still battling the Hulkbuster armor, 
and things like that. It, it, it was great. It was really great. And Ultron basically sets off all the missiles in every military, basically continuing his logic of what he wants to do, and that's pretty much to take over and destroy the world, destroy humanity. Uh, from there, uh, after the team finished battling the, the armors, uh, well, not necessarily bat finishing battling, because Hawkeye and Panther stayed behind to continue their fight, while Tony, Wasp, and Hawk went on to the ha the helip carrier, because that's where Ultron was, and uh, it was kind of interesting, because from there, <laughs> the team is battling Ultron, and they're, they're getting pretty much, the ass is handed to them. Uh, what was kind of interesting, we see uh, Wasp jumping away. I'm like, ha, huh, you can't hurt me, you know. And then <laughs> Ultron, the funny, Ultron grabs her, is like, incorrect. That, 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 uh, probability is wrong, is, is basically been rectified. That was my previous version. I'm Ultron 6, basically. I can destroy you if I want to, uh, which was kind of funny. Uh, look, we go back to, um, we go back to Clinton and T'Challa, and who comes back? Thor. Because in the beginning, they show what happened. Thor finally broke free of Enchantress' spell, and she started telling him, you could be here and everything, but if you want to be with your precious mortals in Midgard, she, she, she sent them back. And he came back fully charged and ready to go. Came back, said, where is Ultron? And... Uh, they fly to the helicarrier, and we get a battle between Ultron. But before that, before that, we saw Hulk come down and was like, I took you out before, robot. I can do it again. But even before that, he said, this is for Thor. When he, and it was like, wow, okay. You saw Hulk got some respect for Thor. Had some major respect for Thor, and, uh, Ultron blocked it though, but it, it was great to see like you saw the mutual respect, you saw the respect that Hulk had for Thor. That he probably won't say to Thor personally, but you saw he had it. And uh, from there, you know, Ultron uh, basically you, you can't hurt me, monster. And basically, I, you know, I'll tear you apart. And then he's like, no, you won't. And soon as Thor, soon as Hulk was about to attack him again. Ultron sucked the gamma, gamma out of Hulk and made him turn back into Bruce Banner. I was like, whoa, that was cool. You got to give it up to Ultron for doing that. Uh, that was cool. A battle came between Thor and, and, and Ultron, and they went back and forth. It was a back and forth fight. Looked like Thor was just bashing Ultron, and Ultron would self, self heal. And, uh, Tony's trying to uh, shut down the the missile launch, and you know uh, Ant Man comes in is like buy me some time, and he he flies into Ultron, and Ultron says I'm aware that you're basically I know you're here, uh, Hank Hank Pym I know you're here, and pretty much uh, from there. Um, Ultron, Hank says, I'm sorry, Ultron, goodbye, Ultron, and he, he shuts him down, uh, and before that, after that, we see, uh, Tony shut down all the missiles, so the missiles exploded, they landed in wherever, you know, some landed in the, the East River, wherever they were, and, uh, that was it, uh, we saw, <laughs> uh, T'Challa and Hank holding Bruce, because <laughs> I guess he was totally drained, and um, that was interesting. Uh, we cut back to the Avengers Mansion, and uh, Tony is talking to to um, Thor. Is like she just let you go, and he's like, "Yes, you know." Thor is telling her, "Yeah, Enchantress just let me go." She basically said. 
you know, this and that, and then he's like, but something evil's coming, something is coming, and that's how the episode ended. So, episode 23, uh, the Ultron imperative was very good. It was good to see two-part two part episode for Ultron. Uh, I've noticed in the this series, for the most famous Avengers villains, we've we seen them have more than one episode. And it was great to see it. Now, having said that, I don't think Ultron's done. I think Ultron will be back in the second season. I think, in my opinion, I think Ultron will be back to create you know who the vision to set on the avengers and then vision will become an avenger that's just me i hope vision does come into the, the second season but uh this was a great episode uh you guys tell me what you thought about this episode uh tyler if you're listening bro i know you love this episode so uh i'm not even gonna i know you're gonna have some good words to say about this but as usual on the last videos i made I'm for all those that don't know, that never haven't watched it, I will leave the link in the description. So please open up the full description link to see to see uh, the link. It's usually under the title. So uh, for all those that don't know, and that goes for all the other reviews I've done. You know the links are there. So if you haven't seen them, they're right there. So I will move on to the next. Uh, episode which aired Friday uh, episode 24 so stay tuned for that and I'll be right back